Well, students at Rock Ridge School are spending their first year in a brand new building, but one of the latest features is that the facility is bringing a piece of Iron Range history into modern times. Northern News Now's Rob Coles explains how the product of a 15-month restoration effort is striking a chord with a whole new generation. Between the chatting teens and food purchases, the cafeteria at Rockridge may sound like your typical lunchroom, but a recent addition is changing the tune. 13-year-old Aaron Spearing is entertaining on a piano that first came to the Iron Range about a century before he was born. Uh, it's just fun. I get to play music that I like. The Steinway Grand was originally brought to the area when the Gilbert School first opened in 1911. Well, I think it's a legacy piece. It was The piano was built in 1909, originally by Steinway in New York City. Assistant Principal Todd Grippendrug says after decades of use, it sat silent for the last 20 years in the auditorium at Gilbert after falling into disrepair. Until now. We came up with this idea of getting this thing restored and putting it in the new school. The piano, which took 15 months to restore, made it to its current spot last week. Jonathan Cleghorn led the effort, taking a three-pronged approach. All the damage to the wood case repaired and then refinished. There was getting all new mechanical parts put in, and then there was redoing the string and the string assemblies. It's no longer at risk of quietly collecting dust. It's put it in a public space where we can have people playing it. People like self-taught pianist Wyatt Mettler, who boldly played in front of his peers, despite nerves. I was shaking the entire time. I thought I was going to puke at some point. A feeling that would change when he experienced positive feedback. Felt pretty good. The latest set of Iron Range hands gaining confidence on the keys. In Virginia, Rob Coles, Northern News Now. Oh, what a beautiful addition to the cafeteria and for the students. The school board allocated $24,000 to restore the piano. Now, in order to protect it, students have to get permission to play, but it is open to anyone who wants to try it out.